Things kicked off on Wednesday with a presentation from Chris Redd, uh, estimating carbon fiber supply and demand now and in the future. He says we're at about 102,000 metric tons per year of carbon fiber right now and heading toward about 153,000 metric tons by 2025. Uh, this was contrasted in day two by Dan Pickler, uh, who's a little more conservative with his numbers, and he actually estimates that we are going to have an excess of supply of carbon fiber through about 2025. Um, day two, we also had a great keynote presentation from Paul Oldroyd, the composites guru from uh, Bell Textron, and he talked a lot about the need for um, increased uh, optimization options for fiber placement and also shorter qualification for aerospace applications. Also yesterday, we heard from Bill Billman. He's with Aero Analytics, provided what he calls an agnostic assessment of carbon fiber use in aerospace over the next 10 years. Uh, he does not believe that carbon fiber will be chosen for the fuselage of A320 or 737 replacements uh, and provided an excellent uh, overview of materials used in aerospace. Uh, we also had a great presentation from Les Cohen of HITCO, and he provided his usual humorous and insightful assessment of uh, fabrication operation challenges in the composites community. Day two focused on the automotive industry. Featured two really upbeat assessments, one from Magna International and the other from Carbures. Carbures is the Spanish aerospace and com uh, automotive composites fabricator. Uh, also heard from Dale Brocious, the uh, chief commercialization officer from IACME talked about that organization's efforts uh, in automotive composites, fabrication, research, and development. Uh, the big question in automotive is uh, how much carbon fiber will be used and where will, we, will it be used and when will it be used? And uh, opinions varied uh, from just a few kilograms per vehicle to several kilograms per vehicle. But with, uh, with an economy, a global economy that's making 90 million vehicles per year, even, uh, even just one or two kilograms per car could could make for uh, a lot of carbon fiber demand over the next uh, probably 15 to 20 years. Finally, we had uh, we had two great panels this year. One focused on uh, the Internet of Things and the digita dig digitalization of composites fabrication operations and the need for uh, greater control over manufacturing data. And the other panel featured uh, uh, an emphasis on carbon fiber recycling and repurposing of carbon fiber scrap. And uh, both were very well done and very well received. And so that brings us to the end. Uh, we'll hope to see you next year. Carbon fiber will be in Charleston, South Carolina.